Hey guys, so today I was busy doing some shopping to get some whipping cream to make some butter. So I used two boxes of whipping cream, the small box, uh, box, because um, I don't really see the large one in the store. So what I did, I pour it in my mixer and I keep mixing. I put my uh, mixer speed up to five. So it's from one to 12, so I put it at five because I didn't want too much spilling. And I keep mixing as soon as I see it start getting harder and it start turning to butter, I turn it down to about two or three. So I whip, whip, whip till I get butter. And there you have it. The butter is full away from the cream. And I use cold water, ice cold in water. It has to be ice cold in water where you rinse your butter off. Rinse that cream out of your butter. And the reason why you use ice cold in water is so your butter can form together and make it nice. There you go, there's the box so, um, that I use that brand and that whipped cream and that size. So my butter is well firm, it's not moving, it stick together real tight. And as I continue to rinse it off, and I use a sieve to do that, a sieve is much better, it's perfect. It helps all the cream to get out of your butter. And there you have it. It was me and my son doing it. He was the camera guy. So forgive me if the camera is not pointing in the right direction. So as you see, I keep rinsing off the butter, getting all that cream out of it. And I sap it dry. There you go. There's no butter in the napkin. That means nice and firm, steady. And I'm ready to put it in my container. And I did this without any salt. I don't add any salt in my butter because I do not like salt. And that's one of my reasons why I'm making my own butter. I get a lot of butter from this. And I was amazed to see how much I get from this. This you can do at home. It's easy. If you don't have a mixing machine like I do, you can use a whisk. You can whisk it with your hand and it can turn right into butter. So you don't have to have no fancy stuff to get um, your whipped cream turned into butter. It's nice and easy. It's just that it will take a little longer. And there you have it. I put it in my container and this will last me up to a month. I use butter in rice. I use butter in a lot of stuff. So there you have it. So one easy way when you... Just want to make it yourself and do it yourself. You have more for your money and you can have that and all up to a month or more. Thank you guys for liking and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye for now.